Hello everyone. Today I am going to present my WC2021 project titled Endemism Go. My name is Palawa Olya Muhammad and you can call me Al. I am 12 years old and I currently live in Makassar in Indonesia. We now have a global problem where the wildlife population is decreasing and some of them are even threatened to extinction due to various reasons. The largest are from over-exploitation and agriculture. Indonesia is one of countries that has the largest number of threatened endemic species in the world, and if we don't start conserving them, they will be at risk for extinction. There are several problems in conserving threatened endemic species, i.e. lack of knowledge, insufficient database, lack of active participation from the community, and limited education applications or resources. Based on the problems above, I decided to make an app about endemic animals because I love animals. I believe that all of us can participate in conserving endemic animals if we are able to identify, learn, store, and provide the information on the endemic animals and its habitat that we may found. Now, I will show you the project I made. I use Scratch 3.0 and Machine Learning for Kids as its main coding program. This application recognizes pictures of threatened endemic species that are identified or found by the user. After taking a picture using this app, it will first ask you the characteristics of the animals, such as colors, tails, crests, etc. to ensure the name of such animals. After recognizing the names of the animals, the app will give information about them and its natural habitat, diet, daily life, risks, and its IUC red list index category. The yellow crested cockatoo is a medium sized cockatoo with white plumage bluish white bare orbital skin, gray feet, and a black bill. It is native to East Timor and Indonesia's islands of Sulawesi and Lesser Sundas. It currently has the status of critically endangered due to loss of habitat. Its favorite food consists of seeds, buds, fruits, nuts, and herbaceous plants. Although, there are certain foods that can, harm, or potentially kill a cockatoo. Those include, avocado, any type of meat, dairy products, chocolate and or cocoa, peanuts, and fruit seeds. They could be found in wooded and cultivated areas in dry and moist forests. They live in small flocks or pairs sometimes gathering in very large flocks when feeding. They are very noisy and make rough shrieking sounds, but often make smoother and softer whistling sounds. They have the learning capacity of a 1-2 to two year old human child and are one of the most intelligent parrots. They can live in household temperatures ranging from 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. 21 to 27 degrees Celsius, and anything below is too cold for the birds. One of the things that makes this bird critically endangered is illegal trapping for the pet trade. They are protected under the Wildlife Act 1975 alongside other cockatoos such as the sulfur-crested cockatoos, long-billed gorillas, and gallus. The user will then be expected to answer several questions about the current living condition of the animals that will analyze the risk rating to the species. The risks are color-coded, i.e. low risk, green, moderate risk, yellow, high risk, orange, and red, extreme risk. The positive impacts of my project are that it will be beneficial for education, database, and knowledge of endemic species, including its risk rating, that will be useful for authorities to take proper and necessary actions. And there is no copyright and privacy issues, since the data will use public databases, such as the IUCN Red List websites. 
The negative impacts of this project are that currently the AI program is using Scratch and machine learning for kids, so the capabilities are still very limited and will need to use stronger AI programs. Additionally, disturbance to the animals and or dangerous risk may occur if the user does not have basic knowledge on how to handle animals properly. Now, I will show you my machine learning project. Here is my machine learning project. I have collected a few pictures of birds for the app. And for the full version of the app, I will add more pictures of birds and even other animals. I would like to acknowledge valuable support from Mr. Farhan at Kodikidu Jimbaran, Mr. Faisal from Wurang, Indonesia, and my beloved parents. Thank you everyone.